In the latest report from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, a stark warning emerges. By 2035, the global average temperature could soar by one and a half degrees Celsius compared to the pre-industrial era. Such a surge in temperature could unleash irreversible consequences. However, there's a continent on our planet where this indicator is projected to be twice as high. Africa. Africa is poised to bear the brunt of climate change impacts, and in a bid to prevent this catastrophe, more than 20 African countries have joined forces, embarking on a monumental mission that's been in the making since 2007. This ambitious project aims to create a green belt spanning the entire continent, situated just south of the vast Sahara Desert, with an average width of 17 kilometers. The grand vision spans a staggering 8,000 kilometers in length, resulting in a planned green area of 136,000 square kilometers, roughly equivalent to the size of Greece. Once completed, the Great Green Wall will stand as a testament to human ingenuity and determination, becoming the largest human-made structure on our planet. But what are the odds of success, and what challenges have Africans encountered in the 16 years since the project's inception? In this captivating video, we delve into the heart of Africa's grand mega-project, the Great Green Wall. Join us as we explore the astounding journey, the potential for success, and the hurdles faced by the continent in its unwavering quest to combat climate change and secure a sustainable future. Imagine a gigantic natural wonder, a green belt stretching over 8,000 kilometers across Africa, a colossal living structure that's like nothing else on Earth. This amazing project is called the Great Green Wall, and it's all about tackling one of the biggest problems of our time, desertification. But don't worry, we're here to explain it in simple terms, so everyone can understand. Picture a massive wall made of living plants. This wall is being built in Africa. And it's huge, about the length of eight marathons lined up end to end. It's more than just a wall. It's a symbol of hope for a better future. The Great Green Wall Project has gathered an astonishing $8 billion, and it's bringing together more than 20 African countries to work together. Think of it like a big team effort. The African Union Commission and the Pan-African Agency of the Great Green Wall are leading the way, and they've invited other countries from around the world to join in. The story of the Great Green Wall goes back to the 1970s. In Burkina Faso, a country in Africa, their president, Thomas Sankara, had a brilliant idea. He wanted to plant lots of trees to stop the Sahara Desert from spreading. And in Kenya, another African country, a group called the Green Belt Movement was working hard to plant trees and restore the forests. Now let's talk about the problem. Imagine a place that used to be lush and green, but over time it turned dry and barren. This happened in a region called the Sahel, right at the edge of the Sahara Desert. It's like a big sandy sea, and it's been growing and swallowing up fertile land. This led to big problems. There wasn't enough food and water, people fought over resources, and many had to leave their homes because life became very tough. In the 1980s, leaders and smart folks started thinking about a long-term solution. They dreamed of creating a great green wall, a line of trees and plants that would stretch all across Africa, from the west to the east. It took some time, but in 2007, African countries officially said, yes, let's do it. More countries have joined the project since then. Now here's the thing. The Sahel region is one of the driest places on our planet, and it's home to a whopping 135 million people. Imagine if you had to find food and water in a place where the land was getting drier and drier. Not easy, right? Well, that's what's happening in the Sahel. The situation is getting even tougher because the population there is growing super fast. By the end of this century, there might be three times as many people, and they'll need even more food and water. Now, here's where the Great Green Wall comes in. The original plan was to finish it by 2030, but there have been some challenges. See, when you're planting millions of trees, you need to make sure they survive and grow. Some reports say that the project is about 4% done, while others are a bit more hopeful and say it's closer to 15%. The reason for these different numbers is that it's tricky to keep track of all the trees and how well they're doing. One big problem is the weather. Some areas in the Sahel have been suffering from really long droughts. Droughts mean there's not enough water, 
and that makes it hard for the trees to grow. And if the trees don't grow, the Great Green Wall can't become a reality. But it's not all bad news. Some places have seen great success. Senegal, for example, has planted over 18 million trees, and Niger has managed to feed 2.5 million extra people and create 330,000 jobs thanks to the project. By 2030, the Great Green Wall aims to bring back life to a whopping 100 million hectares of land, suck up 250 million tons of carbon every year, and provide jobs for 10 million people in rural areas. Now, some folks have raised questions about the project. They say that the desert is a natural part of the world, and we shouldn't treat it like a disease. Instead, they suggest that we should focus on helping the land become fertile again, rather than building a wall. They think we should work on a big area instead of just one narrow line of trees. Another big challenge is the conflicts and problems that often happen in the region. Sometimes people fight over the little bit of resources that are left, and even terrorist groups can emerge. Dealing with these issues takes time and money, making it harder to stick to the original plan and finish the Great Green Wall by 2030. Over time, the project's goals have evolved a bit. Now, it's not just about planting trees in one narrow line. The plan includes all the areas around the Great Green Wall, even countries in North Africa. Some experts say that instead of planting lots of new trees, we can help the land heal itself naturally. Animals and floods can carry seeds to places where new plants can grow. It's like letting nature do some of the work. As we look back on the past 16 years of this amazing project, we see that there have been some big challenges, but we're still hopeful. The Great Green Wall isn't just about fighting desertification. It's a symbol of our determination to make the world a better place. Even though it's been tough, this massive project might still become a reality. It's a symbol of hope for a future where people and nature can thrive together. If you found this video enjoyable, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more captivating content from the Top Visionary channel. See you in the next video.